Tonight, a Hilliard woman tells NBC4 she is still processing the news that her husband is now dead. 36-year-old Matthew Moshi was in a gray Honda when he was struck by a Kia that ran a stop sign. According to law enforcement, that Kia was stolen, and behind the wheel was a 15-year-old. We thank you for staying with us for NBC4 at 530. I'm Jared Smalley. And I'm Jennifer Bullock. And NBC4 is Sierra Johnson sat down with the wife of the victim, and she joins us now. Sierra, how's that family doing? Yeah, right now, understandably, that family is really taking it day by day. The wife of that victim, though, tells me as she works to heal, she will make it her goal for her two young children to know that her father thought they were the world. He was a very family-oriented man. He loved his children. He loved uh, gaming. Quality Moshi says her husband, 36 year old Matthew Moshi, was a true family man. She says Saturdays at the Moshi household were deemed Daddy Daughter Day, a day for her husband to spend quality time with their three year old daughter. But on November 25th, Matthew Moshi opted to grab lunch and bring it home instead. He was on his direction home. He was three minutes from home when it all happened. According to the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, it was Saturday afternoon when a 15 year old driving a stolen Kia ran a stop sign at the intersection of Beacon Hill and Hilliard Rome roads. Four occupants of the Kia were taken to the hospital in stable condition. Matthew Moshi was also taken for treatment but did not survive. You know, I can understand children being children, but the the act of these children was very reckless and it has unfortunately changed our world forever. Chief Deputy Jim Gilbert with the Franklin County Sheriff's Office did not go on camera to discuss this case, but in a statement said, quote, right now our accident investigators are working with the prosecutor's office to determine what the appropriate felony vehicular homicide charge will be regarding the 15 year old suspect. Right now, Quality is working to keep her life and emotions in order for her two young children. She says she doesn't know if she will ever be able to return to the family home that set mere minutes from where her husband lost his life. She says she is working to remember Matthew as he was a kind, caring and a family man, all while still asking the question why. There's a lot of questions that will never get answers. You know, there's a lot of pain that will never, never really truly heal. And in the last hour, we have received an update on the fate of that 15 year old behind the driving seat of that Kia. Chief counsel from the juvenile division of the prosecutor's office sent a statement explaining that so far no charges related to the homicide have been filed. The juvenile is currently in custody and has a hearing on December 8th. We're local for you in downtown Columbus, Sierra Johnson, NBC4. 